In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Firebase. I think I'm going to make a social media app. <laughs> That's why I started a new Flutter project. So yeah, I mean, I plan to do a social media app anyway, so uh, I don't know, but yeah, so um, first we need to add the Firestore Flutter. Oh, I just saw it, but okay. Um, installing, so we'll just need to add this to public spec YAML and then close that. And, um, yeah, in the social media app, um, <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to make a state management. I'm not going to do state management until I'm going to do state management, but I'm not going to do it until um, we get closer to finishing the app. So I just want to show you how to get it done first. So I don't want to confuse you with that, but I don't know. I might use block or uh, mob X. I'm not sure yet, but I am doing the state management. I'm just gonna, <laughs> it's just going to be after we get a lot done. So I'll save that. Command S or Control S if you're Windows. Uh, pa click packages get, and then that should download it. So just the first thing I always do after I create a new project usually so um create new dart file and so it's my home page that's what they what the default what they call it so uh, I'll just copy from class the first class all the way to the bottom command X to cut it out or control X if you're on Windows just paste it right there and we'll just need to import the my home page dart file here to get rid of this error. So, um, so yeah, we just have to set it, make a new Firebase project now. So, add a project. We'll do social media app. So, I guess I can't do it like this. Always enable Google Analytics. It's already checked, but I just leave it. Always accept these. Well, I think you have to. I think, yeah. So I'm in the United States, so I'm just going to choose that. <laughs> um, so it's creating that project. So so basically, base. Sorry, basically. Actually, let's run this code, so we'll have something up by the time um, that gets done so has all the code in here for you so I'll just <laughs> just run this query I have some stuff to the database um, just through the dashboard and the, you can add it through here through code uh, we'll do that later <laughs> when we do sign up we're gonna do sign up next so uh, yeah, I might actually do a Adobe use Adobe XD to do the design of the app first, or at least the sign up page. I might do it as we go, but um, and in the future, actually, if you if you get if you start learning Adobe XD, it's pretty easy actually. They have uh, tutorials on the actual Creative Cloud YouTube channel. They have like daily challenges. It's pretty easy, honestly. Um, but soon, Adobe XD is going to be able to convert the <laughs> XD design into the UI code. It won't have the back end, but at least have the design. So it will speed up development even more. There's something like that. It kind of works, but this is supposed to be way better. But uh, Let's look at our project now, see if it's finished. Yep. All right, I just did... Um, Android. I'll show you how to do iOS as well. 
if this video is too long um, I'll make a another video I'll just cut I'm gonna do iOS but um, I've actually I'd have to do this last time <laughs> that's weird I just did an app without but basically we have the multi deck stuff for Android which is weird because I created an app recently I didn't have to do this so. oh well, I'll show you how to do that too <laughs> that's crazy okay I mean, you get around it. But. Okay, that's what I was gonna do. So we'll go to Android under App. Go to Build Gradle. Just copy this application ID. To add this under app, so this top, you know, add it to this top. So, um, trying to see, <sighs> okay, this is funny. I was thinking about what to make me do this. Oh man, let me pull this down real quick. So I'm trying to copy. Okay. Usually I don't add the Cloud Firestore package until after, so I wonder if that's why. No, it can't be. I think most of this stuff is in here already, just from Firebase or Flutter, I mean. So it's the project level Gradle, so it's um, this Gradle. So they want you to add the Google, which is there, and they have JSON in. So uh, 4.3. I have a different. Uh, yeah, I don't have Google services. So I'll add that real quick. They have this right here. Also, I believe all of this is here. Besides, I think maybe this is not. Yeah. Because I think that's Firebase specific. So com Android application is right here. Um, this oh yeah we, of course we don't have this this under dependencies and then also this we'll just add it right under con oh yeah okay just they're saying that you already have this I don't know because they just said add this line under anyways <laughs> it's right here um. Anyways, we'll go to next and just after you run Firebase or yeah, basically. Well, first, actually, you have to take it. Just load this. <laughs> so go to database and then you have to enable it before it will work. So. Yeah, we'll just um, leave it like this. I'll change it. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you how to make bit, uh, secure rules um, after we get the the sign up set up. So, so we'll just choose test mode for now. I'll just leave it where it's at. You can't change it, so just make sure. 
because it creates Firebase basically creates a uh, Google Cloud project in the back end while it's doing while it made a project. So we'll just let that do that real quick. Okay, so now this is good. So now we can click project overview again. Just click, yeah, <laughs> just click project overview, and then we'll have a red dot basically because it didn't finish <laughs> verifying that you. CSA continue SDK setup, which is basically all we have left is. Well, I'll show you how to do iOS as well. So I also have native. I'm gonna make native um, applications, <laughs> but that's way later. So I have uh, two native series coming up, which I'm almost finished with. So, so it's just checking if we ran any queries, which after actually <laughs> well while that's doing that we'll go back to database and we'll just add something in the database real quick so uh, uh let me look at the example they gave me i'll use this example so we have books title and arthur so i'll just throw like two in there two or three yeah i'll just leave auto id that can be important. Uh, it will be for other stuff we do. So, anyways, title um, Big Brown Bear. I don't know. <laughs> Can't think of a book. Um, author The Author. I, I don't remember. I'm just going to add some stuff here. And then, so that, okay, uh, this is how it looks. I like the way real, oh no, it's the same way I think, but I kind of like real time database a little bit. Just the way it looks. I wish they would have something like parse uh, dashboard, but anyways, or actually, we'll add another document. So document is basically what's in the collection, so just leave auto ID, author, or book, or title. <laughs> um, Little red riding hood. I don't know. I can't think of anything at the moment, so the author again. I'm just giving you an idea <laughs> just so you can see how it works. So that's in red. So, yeah, man, I hate doing this. I mean, it's simple, but hold on. This is ridiculous. So, anyways, I have the link on how to do it right here. They show you how to do it. You click this, it tells you what to do. So, you just add multi decks. Um, so, you have to use Android X because that's what we're using now. So, Matter of fact, I wonder if that's. I'll check back in the video. But, anyways. So. <laughs> I hate doing this. So, um. Okay, let's add this to the Gradle. App Gradle. All of the dependencies you add to App Gradle, so. And then it's tell us, telling us to copy this under default config, which is right here. I always put it under all this. This is kind of like temporary fix, but whatever. Anyways, um, let's not. Uh, I usually override it, but we don't need to, so we'll just copy this. It's in our manifest, so it's under source. Man, okay. Then, so you just put that right here. So that's all you do. Alright, so I did override it because I knew we, we had to do something because we can't. Um, basically have two names and 
that's what I was complaining to duplicate so which I didn't want to but oh well you know he's in Kotlin or right click on this uh, we'll just do new file for a Kotlin class but yeah let's do that whatever anyways let's do flutter app I have this code from somewhere <laughs> I think probably stack overflow somewhere I don't know so I think it recopied it over when I did it. Yes, uh, let me open it in Flutter. All right, <laughs> let me open the Android project separate. So, Yeah, it's imported already. <laughs> I'm tripping. Because I copied the code, of course. Okay. Okay, yeah. Anyways, let's run Flutter Clean again because I don't know. Or actually, yes, yeah, so I have to do this. So I'll just do this. Complete. You put dot flip and it's right there, so you just press it in there. And now let's rebuild this. So, um, so while that's running, we'll basically copy this code. So I'll just copy all of the build stuff, really. Let's wait to see if it is good. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. See, I need to make sure it's Android X. I believe it is checked. Because I swear I just made an app and I didn't have to do this. So, it has way more stuff in it. So, unless it's a new Firestore version and then they have way more methods. So, I don't know. Anyways, we'll copy all of this build stuff over it. I just copied that build stuff from the. I'll leave the link in the in the description, like I always do. But uh, you need to import Firebase or Firestore. That's what we're using. It's the new one you should use. They give you more stuff actually than the real time database. This actually has real time stuff in it. It's actually real time also, <laughs> even though it does have it in the name. But yeah. So, yeah, so we already have a collection of books and then a document with the title and author in it. So it's just a list view and a list tile with title, subtitle. Yeah, let's rerun this. Okay, I copied something wrong. I think it's just the extra, yeah. I didn't copy it over, right? So. Well, I'm pretty sure I know what it is, so we need to wrap this with a scaffold. I'm just showing you. This has to be body. Let's have a child. Uh, so this should be good. I just ran it. See now it's showing the stuff in the um <laughs> from the app. I was at an app bar. We're gonna change this anyways. Because we're going to um, add login, yeah. So, so I'll just put for a title. It just takes a widget, so it could be a column, which is what what I sorry, <laughs> what I usually use because I also add an image in the ad bar usually. So I add an image and a text. So I'll just do text just to show you. I don't have a name for it yet. I'll think of something, but yeah. 
we could click it and make it do stuff but yeah that's how you connect it with android so next we'll do ios so